Good morning, this is Mr. Booker from St. Mark Missionary Baptist Church. I understand things are looking pretty bad right now in our economy, but we must bless the Lord at all times. And His praises still continue to be in our mouth. Things are not looking that good, but I promise you, this too shall pass. We must keep our hand in God's hand at all times, and we must continue to look to Him for all our help. We at St. Mark want to tell you that we love you and continue to pray, and we need to pray for one another. We love y'all, and we thank y'all. Amen. Hello, this is the assistant pastor, Pastor Lisa Hernandez, saying um, hello and good afternoon to all of our saints, all of our loved ones, to all of our members. Um, today I want to give a special encouragement on behalf of our pastor, on behalf of our bishop, on behalf of our first lady, and the whole entire um, ministerial staff. The Lord led me to a song that I'm sure is familiar to everyone, but in times like these, this is a special one to hold on to, to let you know your position in the Lord, your position. And if you are called to God, if you are his child, if you claim that Jesus is your Savior, then this is a special song that you can hold on to and hold on to its promises. And this song is coming from the 91st Division. Amen. And it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely he has delivered thee from the snare of the fowler and from the north wind's pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold the sea, shall, shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague. Come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And I say that in the midst of this whole scripture, Psalm 91, what is most important, it says, because he has set his love upon me. Nothing that we have done, nothing that we could ever do, no uh, thousands of prayers that we can pray, amen, that will compare to the love of God. Because we are safe, it's because he loves us. We are safe because he loves us. We are safe because love us. I encourage you again to the Psalm 91. I love you with 
love of Christ, bless God and bless you and your whole entire family. Thank you so much, Pastor Hernandez. You're welcome.